In the first video of this series, we show how you can import some nice dashboard that contain input parameters. So you can actually perform searches, in this particular case a timestamp, when you put here, say I put here one hour, and I do the update, it's going to update all the items in the dashboard for that particular time. Now, what we're going to be doing next is I'm going to create my first dashboard. I've been playing along with this. I believe I am ready to create my first one. So I click here in whatever dashboard you have on, the, on this icon and you're going to select new dashboard. And I'm going to start with a blank dashboard. It's going to be a new one. Uh, that's one. I'm going to call it. You put a description. I'm not going to make it, of course, the default. I click create. But of course this dashboard has nothing. You need to populate it. So you click here on dashboard item and you can select other item that exists in other polls dashboard that you have from other views. And you can select them all. But in this case we're going to start everything from scratch. We're going to create one even though there are challenges like for example in here the data is going to be AQL, and I know nothing about AQL, but very little. But I'm going to show you how you don't have to know AQL. It also helps if you do, but uh, you don't. It's not a requirement. So this item, I'm going to call it uh, dash item one is the base because this is the one that is going to have the first input parameter. Which because in the end, I want to create a dashboard that allows me to search for is if an IP exists in a reference set. And let's see how we actually do that. Again, you put a description if you want. Uh, it's AQL, and I'm going to put the statement. Let's say that I know very little about AQL, which is not far away from the truth. So I put select, and you always have the look ahead. And I'm going to put IP address, and the look ahead helps me there. But as I mentioned in the first video, because this is going to be resolved, uh, I need to put this within single quotes. I have, one, I have one too many here. And the rest of the standard AQL is, well, where do you select that? From the logs database, which is called events. You see the look, the look at it is always uh, trying to help you here. Uh, I'm going to make this simple for the last uh, 30 minutes. See, always look ahead. Look ahead helps me here. Let me test to make sure I got this that this query is functionally well and say, oh, okay, well, what IP address are you going to put in here? 192.168.2.25, for example. You click here, search, it performs the search. And again, this is only for me to create that input parameter. That's the first one, right? And I need to create a new view, and I'm going to call default entry. And you can select, there are magnificent charts in here. I'm going to just keep this simple. I'm going to put tabular. This, I'm taking all the defaults, and this is the way it's going to look. And I click here, save. I have created that, but I'm, I'm, I have not added it yet. So it's that item base one. I click here, add. I'm done here and notice that I can put I have my input parameter I can put here any other IP and click update and the, the search is actually perform as well but again this is not very useful what we said that we want to do is that we want to create a, a, something that says well is this IP in that particular reference set but again I don't know how to do that I do know how to do that search from the GUI because it's actually very simple. All I need to do is to scroll down here on the search parameters, and I know this has to do with reference set. So I put the word reference set there, yeah, that's what it is. And immediately it says, well, what is it that you're looking in the reference set? It's source IP. Source IP, could be destination IP, but in this particular case, source IP of particular uh, Event exists in any, that's, I can take that one. You have all the other options in there. And in here, I'm going to put the name of the reference set, which is called malware. Oops. 
malware IPs, which is right here. Okay, I need to click here plus to add it. I add the filter. I perform the search. Well, that's not what I. Well, yeah, it's already. We see it here. I got confused there, and I click here search. And I got. I mean, it doesn't matter the the view. I mean, this is what you want to do. I I don't need all those columns and all the stuff, so I can actually edit the search. Okay, and I can eliminate everything but the source IP. So I can take all these things. I don't need them. This is a standard way. Again, I don't know anything about AQL. I don't need to. I have my search here. I perform the search. And I'm going to save that search. You need to save it in order to be able to use a trick that I'm going to show you that is going to convert this automatically to AQL. I'm going to call this uh, reference set. I, I don't need to put it in my quick searches. That's all I need to do. I need to have it saved. Because what I'm going to do is when you go and look for I'm going to edit the search. Remember that we call this one reference set. And here it is. Now you have this beautiful show AQL, which is going to convert that search we did into a reference set. So I copy it to the clipboard and I go back to Pulse. And I'm going to add a new dashboard item. I'm going to call uh, reference set. Again, this is, and it's going to be a new dashboard item. Oh, actually, I could have, I could have chosen any one of the existing ones, but I, I'm creating one from scratch. So reference. Again, any description. AQL. But now I arm. I'm armed because in my clipboard, boom. I have this. Okay, there are some things that I don't really need in here. For example, I can this order by all this stuff. I don't need any of that. The key that I did not know how to do in AQL is this thing. Reference set contains. That's when I'm going to do Control X, and I'm going to put it here on the beginning. And that's really all I need. I don't need that where statement. So I can put, I can go here and put the semicolon, right? Let's see if this works. I do run the query and it really runs. So it should ask me for, not that I'm saying that it's false because it does, I don't have any IP, so it's going to say false if the IP does not exist in that reference set. I'm going to call this here exist in reference set. Not typing very well today. Um, and again, let's for simplicity select a tabular view. It's going to say me false or, or yes whether I have it or not. And take this as the default. I click here, save. I need to click here to add it to my dashboard. And we see it in the background that it is. Now, if that IP does not exist in my reference set, but I, I know of an IP that does exist there. Let me look at it. It's uh, 85.114.134. 49. So let's see if I did this right and I click update. Well, that tells you that it was my first one, wasn't it? Let's actually take a look at the. Oh, I know what I did. Notice that I'm putting a, a hard coded kind of a 
reference set and what I need to do remember that this needs to be between single quotes and curly braces and should be IP address okay I think I got it now so I got one extra curly braces in here we get rid of that so that should do it now so now the IP address that is in the form gets updated here and then the consultation should go should go there let's test at it yep and notice that it now is true from that IP address that is in there good so now if we put another IP address that does not ex I don't think that this one uh, is in there I click update and it's false if I put the one that is there uh, again it's not that this is incredibly useful but it's I'm, I'm trying to build in this series of videos little by little how you actually can build interesting dashboard and again I don't know AQL and some people believe that you need to know AQL it helps but it's not a requirement and by the way you can even learn AQL along the way by following this uh, video series